happy 2026. We're going to be looking at some of the beautiful properties of this number, as well as some mathematical memes, but I'll save those until the end. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie, I am a Cambridge Mathematics graduate and I basically use this channel to nerd out about mathematics because I love it so much and other STEM subjects as well. So if you're new here then click subscribe and if you want to become a member of this channel then click the join button. But without further ado, let's look at the beautiful number that is 2026. I started this video by saying happy 2026 and happy it is. The number 2026 is actually a happy number, but what actually is a happy number? Well, let's look at the number 2026 as an example. The first step is you just take the number, so 2026. The second step is you replace it with the sum of the squares of its digits. So for example, 2026 would become two squared plus zero squared plus two squared plus six squared. And if you add this up, you get the number 44 and then we repeat the process. So 44, that would equal four squared plus four squared, which equals 32. Again, for 32, that's three squared plus two squared, which equals 13. And again, for 13, we have one squared plus three squared equals 10. And then for 10, we have one squared plus zero squared equals one. Now, if you do this for a particular number and the number that you end up with is one, this actually means that it's a happy number. So 2026 is a happy number and hopefully a happy year. Something I like to note when I talk about happy numbers is the fact that the number 13 is actually a happy number, which we've already seen because we did the calculations ourselves. And I like to mention that because the number 13 has negative connotations a lot of the time. There are certain stereotypes around the number 13 with it being an unlucky number or a negative number, kind of, you know, avoid at all costs but it is actually a happy number. And I'm gonna be making a full video on why the number 13 isn't as unlucky as you might think, but that'll be coming in the coming weeks. So if you're interested in that, then click subscribe if you haven't already. Interestingly, in this century, there aren't actually that many happy numbers. The happy numbers are 2003, 2008, 2019, this year, of course, 2026, 2030, 2036, 2039, 2062, 2063, 2080, 2091, and 2093. So in this century, we only have 12 numbers that are gonna be happy, which I think adds a little bit more beauty to this number. The next obvious question that we like to think of when we look at a number is, is it a prime number? Does it have any divisors? If not, and number 2026 is actually two times 1013, and both these numbers are prime. So it's comprised of two distinct prime numbers multiplied together, making it what is known as a composite number and a semi-prime number. And in all, it has a total of four divisors. That's one, two, 1013, and 2026. Now, unfortunately, when I made the video last year about 2025 and how it's 45 squared, and there are loads of different divisors and kind of cool tricks that you could do with it. Unfortunately, 2026 doesn't have quite the same, but nevertheless, I think it's beautiful that we know that it's a semi-prime number. I briefly mentioned that I made a video last year on the number 2025. This is becoming a yearly habit on this channel. But in that video, like I mentioned, there were so many cool applications of the number 2025. So if you're interested, then go check that out. But I just thought it was interesting that this year is surrounded by, you know, 2025 and then 2027. 2025 there were honestly i couldn't fit them all in one video there were so many cool ways of manipulating the number to get other numbers 2026 is a little bit tame in comparison but it doesn't make it any less beautiful and 2027 well hopefully i mean i'm not sure if you would know this but that is a prime number and i just think it's quite nice that it's sandwiched between those two numbers a prime number a number that has so much going on with it and then quietly sat in the middle is 2026. I mentioned that 2025 had some really cool ways of reconstructing the number with different, you know, beautiful different ways. And it turns out that we can do some similar tricks with the number 2026. Now, my favorite of this year is this one where you use the numbers one to nine and try use some sort of multiplication, addition, subtraction to obtain the number 2026. And it turns out you can actually do it sequentially. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
And the way you do that is you do one plus two plus three minus four, all multiplied by, open bracket, five minus, open bracket, six plus seven, multiplied by, open bracket, eight times nine, close bracket, close bracket, close bracket. And that in itself equals 2026, which I find really, really beautiful. One of the really beautiful things that I like about mathematics is that we often ask why instead of just how. And if you're someone who likes to wonder about why things work the way they work in mathematics, science, or just more broader in STEM, then I have the exact thing for you. And it's this very heavy box known as the Curiosity Box that is made by the legend Vsauce himself. Now every box is filled with hands-on experiments, puzzles and objects that are designed to make you stop and think, which is one of my favourite things about learning with science. Now what I love so much about it is that it's not just random stuff, everything is designed to spark curiosity and get you actively exploring ideas, whether it's a really clever mathematical demo or a logical puzzle or something that completely messes with your intuition, it really feels like learning in the most fun way possible. It's a Mobius strip scarf. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love it. If you would like to get your hands on one of these boxes, then head over to curiositybox.com forward slash Ellie. And I'm gonna get back on with the maths of 2026. As we were turning into the new year, I saw this really beautiful problem that was posed by a mathematician called Howie. If you don't already follow them on social medias, then I'd highly recommend. They honestly produce some of the best maths content out there. And I believe they're on YouTube as well. So I'll link them in the description. But I saw a really nice problem that they did on Instagram. And I thought I would show you it in this video as well. So it was this problem here that says 2025 to the power 2026 is this greater than 2026 to the power 2025? Now, obviously with this, you might know it already, but I'm gonna show you how you can prove this mathematically. And the first way that you might you know, consider tackling this problem is by considering different cases. Okay, so we obviously have this kind of expression where we have n to the power n plus one. Is this greater than n plus one? to the power n. That's the question where n here would be 2025 because n plus one is 2026. Okay, so if we take different values of n, then we would have, you know, for n is one, we'd have one squared. Well, is this greater than two to the power one? No, we know it's not because we know that one has to be less than two. So this one is not, we have less than. So one is less than, and I'll keep the squares in here just so we can compute. The next one would be, well, is two to the power three less, greater than three to the power two? No, because we know that, well, you know, I could do, I could put one here, that's two. This one is eight, three squared is nine. No, so we know that two to the power three is less than three squared. Okay, what about, three to the power four, is this greater than four to the power three? Now this of course, this one's 81. Three squared is nine, and then if you do nine squared, that's 81. And similarly, we can do four squared, which is 16. That multiplied by four would give us 64, so that's 64. So in this case, yes, we do have the 81 is greater than 64. So this would be three to the power four, that is greater than four to the power three. Now we could do one more for, you know, measure, you know, just to, just to check. So what would we have? Four to the power five, is that greater than five to the power four? Well, this quickly is 1024. Five to the power four is 25 squared, which is 625, and again, Yes, we know that 1024 is greater than 625. So we can say here, yes. So four to the power five is greater than five to the power four. Now you'll notice here we have this cutoff point here, which basically we see the less than or greater than sign flip. And so you could kind of assume that, okay, 
we're going to have that, yes, this is going to be greater than. We know we, we can kind of assume that, but of course we need some way of actually showing it. So let's do that maths now. Okay, so if we take 2025, so if we said, we want to know again, back to this, so it's 2025 to the power of 2026, is that greater than 2026 to the power of 2025? Well, we could change this slightly and just kind of rewrite this and say, well, why don't we take 2026 to the power of 2025 and divide that by 2000. 25 to the power of 2026 because the idea here is you can kind of get some sort of expression for this and then if it's greater than one or if it's less than one we can deduce what the inequality should be here because essentially all we've done here is we've got 2026 to the power of 2025 divided it by 2025 to the power of 2026 this is going to be so many I, I can't even begin to count how many times I'm going to say these numbers uh, and then we divide it, so it would be divided here, and then whatever we get out of this, we can deduce the greater than or less than. Okay, so what, what, what is this? How can we write this? Well, you might spot if we look at similar powers, then we can take a factor of 1 over 2025 out of here, and what that would do is that would leave this one here as 2025 and then we can take those and put them to the power of the same power essentially so that would be 2026 divided by 2025 to the power 2025 okay we can take this one step further by noting that this is kind of a top heavy fraction here so this itself we can rewrite and we can do that as this so keep out the 1 over 2025, this becomes 1 plus 1 over 2025 to the power 2025. The trick here is to spot that what we've got written here is actually 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Now you might know that if you take the limit of this as n approaches infinity, we actually get E out of this and I'll just show you an example of a plot just to illustrate this a little bit easier. So this plot here demonstrates the 1 plus 1 over n to the power n and as you can see it tends towards the line E but it never fully reaches it so it kind of it gradually 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 tends towards E and so what we can say is well this is always going to be less than E and using that, we can then rewrite this. So we can say, well, okay, this here, this entire expression here, that has got to be less than E, which is you know, roughly 2.718, for example. Now, if we know that, we can deduce some things, like I said, we were gonna do at the start. And that is, we can rewrite this. So we can say, okay, well, that actually means that this expression here that we had is less than E, over 2025. Now of course we know E is this number here and that divided by 2025 is of course going to be less than 1. So we can say that is less than 1. And so we basically have here that this expression is less than 1. And if we just do the maths for completeness, we can say, okay, 2026 to the power 2025, that must have to be less than 2025 to the power of 2026. And what did the question ask? The question asked, well, is this greater than this? And what we've deduced is this is less than this, but they're obviously swapped around. So this can be written as 2025 to the power of 2026 is greater than 2026 to the power of 2025. And so, this was our initial kind of assumption and we've shown it and so yes back to the question yes this does hold indeed now i thought this was a really beautiful problem when i saw it on howie's instagram and i just love the idea of being able to use both 2025 and 2026 to show you some really really cool maths i think i like this problem because it was an excuse to show you some cool mathematics and of course, that's what I do on this channel.
Last year there was a really fun challenge which was basically taking the digits in the number itself and trying to create the number. So this year you take 2026 and you try and create some sort of mathematical expression that would equal 2026. Now I have managed to do it this year and it took a lot of pencil scribbling on my paper and whiteboard to try and get it but I have managed to get a quite an ugly solution and I've got a nice expression as well so an ugly expression and a nice expression and I'm going to be releasing to my members and my Patreon supporters the answer to that now but I'll be following up in a week's time on this exact video for those of you that aren't members I'm going to comment my solution and what my expression was and what I'd really like for you to do is if you have one I'd like you to comment it on this video and then in a week's time we can all get together and we can see what different expressions people have uh, and maybe we can vote on whose was the most beautiful so yeah comment your best expression all you have to do is take 2026 and create an expression with that to equal the number 2026 Okay, now on to the maths meme. Now, <laughs> I think this one itself, it made me laugh because last year there were so many maths memes around 2025. And I think that's because there were so many different properties of it. And this year I struggled so hard to find memes because it's not quite as extravagant, should I say, as 2025, because it has less you know, really cool things that you can do with it. But like I said, that doesn't make it any less of a beautiful number. And so this meme quite literally just says 2026 equals 1 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 0 all the way up to 2026 to the power 0. Now, of course, we know that anything to the power 0 is 1. And of course, this just becomes a summation of 1s. And if you add 1 up 2026 times, you're going to get the number 2026. So this one made me laugh purely because it's kind of a fun way of showing how you can... You know, you might think you've come up with this really miraculous way of describing the number 2026 and actually it's just adding ones a load of times. And yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a really good meme to finish the video off with. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.